Hundreds of sealed court documents pertaining to late sex offender Jeffrey Epstein are set to be made public this week, and many prominent associates of Epstein's named in court, including Prince Andrew and former President Bill Clinton, will allegedly be revealed. Logs kept by one of Epstein's pilots showed Bill Clinton and his entourage flew extensively on Epstein's jet to international destinations in 2002 and 2003, but none of the available records so far prove Clinton made a trip to Epstein's Island. Clinton was identified as John Doe 36 among the 170 names expected to be revealed in the files. John Doe 36 is mentioned more than 50 times in the filings per the Washington Times. Hmm. Well, former Fox News host Tucker Carlson is set to interview Jeffrey Epstein's brother, Mark Epstein, about his inability to see the hospital records from the night his brother died in prison. Let's watch. As of right now, you're telling me you can't find the PCR report? Not for the 10th of August, 2019, no. Not in, it's not in the fire department database. I don't know why. If it's supposed to be there, we'll find out. But first, you've got to get the letters of administration before you can take them anywhere. Yeah, you see, because the date on here is the, the 10th of 19th. That's the day they found him, they took him, and, they, and he was dead. Well, then they might have taken him directly to the morgue. So no, I, he was in the hospital. I have photographs of him in the hospital, too. Oh, it's because you see the fire department personnel there, that doesn't mean they provided documentation. It they been told else. me they did. I spoke to them. Yeah. And they were the ones who suggested I get the PCR report. Mm -hmm. Well, well, they're saying one thing, but the computer is saying something else. I understand the stakes are much higher, obviously, but listening to that, sound doesn't that sound like every interaction you have with bureaucrats at the DMV or anything where you got told one thing, but it's different in the computer and it's different this way, which is not to suggest that there isn't anything nefarious going, around, going, uh, going on there, but also that um, that's the general experience most people have when dealing with officials in that position. I mean, sure, but it's also true that oftentimes the kind of administrative... Uh, failures or ambiguity are used to cover up legitimate sure. failures of these institutions, which are tasked with keeping records for exactly these kinds of instances. And I, I do, you know, if if you have a very high profile client uh, uh, subject like Jeffrey Epstein was, I don't think it's uh, you know conspiratorial to ask questions about why someone who should have had the most eyes on him and the most security and who should have had the best most secure paperwork and all of the I's dotted and T's crossed have so many failures that have compounded on each other when there are so many very famous and very yeah. rich people implicated in finding out more about his schemes. It's the old maliciousness versus incompetence kind of uh, Yes, well, there's only so much debate. incompetence that I think can be credibly mm. excused. And I think that's, that's part where of we why... might disagree. <laughs> well, I'm talking about government employees here. Uh, you know, and the police. I think a lot of what is described as government and police incompetence actually is maliciousness. Mm. Uh, so the question here is whether or not there's going to be anything newly revealing about what's come out. As we've um, already discussed, it is known that people like um, uh, Bill Clinton, Prince Andrew, were implicated through other court filings from um, other flight logs that have already been revealed. The question is whether or not these 50 uh, approximately 50 other mentions of Bill Clinton in the documents gives some additional color as to what his relationship was with Epstein. Now, Bill Clinton has said that he never visited the famous island, uh, Little St. James. Uh, Virginia Guifre said uh, differently that he had visited the island. It would be interesting to see if any of these additional records cast any light on the truthfulness of their conflicting reports Maybe she here. saw the painting and it was so lifelike she thought it was actually Bill Clinton. The Remember? painting? The, there's this, no, so there was a painting of Bill Clinton as a woman in, uh, on the island in, in Jeffrey Epstein's uh, residence. Google that? it, it'll, it'll come up. I'll, I'll show there's it to you after. There's a picture of Bill Clinton uh, as uh, a woman. No, a painting, a work of art of Bill Clinton. Um, commissioned by, it was Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein Epstein's? had it commissioned, I, I believe, yeah, in, in, the, uh, in the residence. So uh, he was able to get Bill Clinton on the phone. Oh, I see. You see yeah. <laughs> well, it's Bill Clinton in a, in a blue off-the-shoulder dress with red heels on. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, he was able to get, Jeffrey Epstein was able to get Bill Clinton on the phone very easily. So his associations with Clinton are, 
very well established. I think what would be interesting is to finally learn, frankly, some other names, or learn if there was more, you know, just the casual involvement, you know, people like, I mean, I'm not picking on him to name it, like Noam Chomsky, who had very, you know, some kind of limited legal interaction with uh, Epstein having to do with, with his will or something like that. How many people like that are there, and, and are any of those people actually on the plane or actually visiting the island or are involved? Is the government of the Virgin Islands? That would be most interesting. We know, for instance, that Stacey Plaskett s sought out Epstein specifically as a donor to her campaign, the uh, delegate of the Virgin Islands. We know that he tried to have the, the sex offender laws of the Virgin Islands ridden so he would be yeah. less ensnared. Um, I'd like to know about some of those connections, particularly from the period um, after he was already a known sex offender, had already been convicted, a period in which his associations with figures like Bill Gates were still were still quite ongoing. His associations with uh, Bank of America figures, still very ongoing. Um, and that's the really damning period. Obviously, the, the involvement with Bill Clinton from much earlier is, uh, yeah. is interesting and is of public note, but is somewhat um, somewhat well documented already. Yeah, in some ways, we already know what is so scandalous about this, which is that Jeffrey Epstein, politics aside, was very close to Donald Trump. He was close to Bill Clinton. He was close to all of these extremely affluent and powerful people, Bill Gates. And the scandal really does seem to be less about the specifics of it, but the fact that this was a man who was notorious for certain behaviors even before his conviction rumor, in the rumor mill, which did not cause anybody to object to spending time with him. Those rumors were confirmed around, what, 2008, 2009, around his first conviction. And that still didn't keep many people from freely associating with him in public, inviting them to weddings, co cavorting around, doing all those sorts of things. Um, you know, Jillian Maxwell being at Hillary Clinton's, uh, Chelsea Clinton's wedding, for instance. So I, I, in some ways, I think that these additional um, stories about more reveal, more reveal, almost gives the impression that there's not enough here to be really condemnatory right. of right off the bat and for us to ask really serious questions about why there's this elite sector of our society that seems to have no consequences for engaging in some of the most illegal and purient um, behavior known to man. Right. We'd also be remiss not to mention that flight logs reveal that former President Donald Trump also allegedly took at least seven trips on Epstein's private plane between 1993 and 1997. Back in 2002, Trump allegedly said Epstein was a lot of fun to be with. Mm. Donald Trump in 2002 said of Epstein, he's a lot of fun to be with. It's even said that he likes beautiful women as much as I do, and many of them are on the younger side. Yeah, and I see a lot of, frankly, uh, people online who are very release the Epstein client list, very uh, obsessed with getting to the supposedly getting to the bottom of the Epstein issue, uh, you know, totally covering for Trump on this when um, it's clear he had at least some casual association, perhaps uh, more limited than some other figures. But it, it goes to show you that Jeffrey Epstein's game it was not partisan, uh, was simply attaching himself to powerful people to. Uh, worming his way into their lives by offering these, uh, he, I mean, he was extremely wealthy by offering the the plane rides and the and the <laughs> invitations to his island where these you know much more um, horrific crimes were going on. And I think people want to know what, frankly, what was the level of involvement of some of these very powerful figures? Is there some? I don't know that it will ever be as simple as, you know, here's a list of the people Jeffrey Epstein provided underage girls to, and here's the list of people who had sex with them. People if there is such a list, want to see it and want those people to go to jail, not just Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. And that is why the circumstances of his death are uh, under so much scrutiny, because yes. in lieu of that list, there was only Jeffrey Epstein's testimony, which we will obviously never get now. More Rising right after this.